Hello there. My name is Dan. I make websites and other such things. And this is a little video that I'm going to do just because I had a situation with a website come up recently and I thought, well, I need to fix this. I'll just walk through it and then why not record it? Who knows? Maybe it could be helpful. Maybe it could be something I could learn from if I watch myself do it in the future. Uh, and yeah, it would just be in, be kind of interesting. So What's the situation? On the right here, we have my GitHub account, and we have a repo called MyGig. And what this is, this was my, my basically graduation project from school. I went back to school a few years back to, do, to learn how to program, et cetera, et cetera. And this was the final project that I put together. So I had this up on my personal server, and it was living at mygig.online. However, the domain name just ran out. And I let it run out because this was literally just a small project. I don't really have any use for it other than being something that I could say I built and have like on a resume as, you know, a personal project, something like that. But as you can see, the host is not resolving. It's going to keep spinning because it no longer exists. So what I was going to do is I have my own little stupid site which is this. Dan Brackey, developer at Fjord Digital, a Minneapolis company. I write code is literally all I have, and then a link out to my GitHub account, as you can see right there. So what I want to do is I just want to make a, a subdomain for Brackey.dev called mygig.brackey.dev. I have other personal projects on there. It's That way you don't need to get a domain name for every single thing you do. It's it's easier. Granted, I don't necessarily do it in the easiest way because I'm a dork, but we'll get to that. So what do I need to do first off? I basically need to make sure that I have uh, a subdomain made for this domain name, bracky.dev, pointing at the right spot. Now, the thing that I could be doing that I'm not doing, which is something I kind of was touching on a second ago, was that I could just have like a wild card that catches everything that goes to blank.bracky.dev. I haven't personally set that up. It would probably be better in the long run to do that, but I just, I don't know if it's laziness, if it takes more work, but like I just haven't set it up. So instead, I'm going to go to my Namecheap account, which is who I use for this kind of stuff. Um, ooh, I got a verification code. Interesting. I wonder, oh, oh well, no, I've definitely logged in from this computer. Maybe it's because I'm in a, I'm logged in as a different user than I usually would be when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So let's, let's take a look at what in the hell this is. Yep, and now I have to log into this Gmail account because I don't usually use this Gmail account here. I don't want to add a home address. This is exciting. All right, name cheat support. Your confirmation code. Submit. Cool, cool. Cool, so here we are. I have a few other domains. Kelseyisabutt.com, classic. Kitty-womp.us is the name of my server, actually. Uh, Mygig.online, here is our guy. As you can see, it ran out on February 11th. I could renew it. I could manage it, you know, like up it, whatever. We're not going to do that. We're going to go to bracky.dev. And now you get to see my disgusting DNS records. So here we go. Look at all these. All of these are subdomains that I have living on my server. And what I could be doing is I could just issue a wildcard for all these and it would just it would just match because I have Apache running on the server and it would just work. It would do the thing, but I'm a lazy bastard, which is not true because this takes more work, but it's just, I don't really feel like doing it differently than I, than I have done in the past. Anyways, let us add a new record. We're going to add an A record for my gig. It's going to point at my server, which we got there. Automatic. Boom. Bada bing. Cool. So. We have that pointing in the right place. So now what do we need to do? I'm going to stop that. Now we need to get onto my server and make sure that we update the Apache uh, config record 
for this website. So I have this command that I've aliased on my machine, VPS, which takes me right to my server. However, this user doesn't have permissions to do this kind of stuff. So I'm going to up to sudo. I don't still have my thing saved. That's wrong. That's wrong. Let's grab my junk. You can't see anything, so that's a bonus. Cool. So I'm now in my home directory as the root. Okay, cool. So first off, where does this information live? I'm using Apache, as I said, as with most servers. This is a CentOS server. Uh, the web files are going to live at wwroot, and then I've got a whole bunch of shit on here. So let's see, where do we have it? Uh, I know it's here. My gig that online. There we go. And so here is kind of how, so actually, this is kind of interesting. This is a published script. I'm pointing like you can see. Update publish.sh is a published script that I had written that would be run after I was done SCPing files to the server, which is a whole thing that I did. So this project took me about like two, two and a half months to do, I think, two, probably two months. I might just do another little video on this because it's interesting and I learned a whole shitload about development and like, you know, pipelines and blah, 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 even though I did them all myself and it could have saved some, some time if I automated it a little better. But anyways, we're in this directory and publish is where everything lives. So you see a bunch of DLLs. This project was written with a React front end and a C-sharp back end. So that's why we've got all these crazy, crazy amount of DLLs going on in here. Anyways, we're worried about DNS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to etc, httpd. Actually, let's, let's boost that up for you. Sites available. And this is where I have records for all my sites. Pretty gross, but you know, whatever, it works. Um, so let us vim my gig dot online. Oh, oh, pfft, I know what I did. There's two. So here we go. Congrats, you get to see my email address. So this is what is matching the request that comes in based on DNS. DNS finds where it needs to look for my server from here points here, and then once Apache matches on this, it knows where to redirect folks to. So, we're just gonna switch this guy up to bracky.dev, and I have a feeling we're gonna run into some issues, but we'll find out. And let's, sure. Well, wait, I don't have a record for this, so I'm not gonna even bother with that. We don't need that. Because I don't think there's anything in the code. I, I'm One of the reasons I'm kind of confident this will go somewhat smoothly is that there's I don't think there's any reference to the actual URL of the site in the code. So once we kind of swap this over, things should hopefully work fairly well. Everything is still running on the server that should be running on the server. So that's cool. Um, anyways, we're going to be leaving all of these the same. We're going to leave this the same. Now, here's where we're going to probably run into an issue, SSL. So these three lines were automatically added by CertBot. CertBot is what I use on my server to manage my certificates. I have a cron that runs that updates them when they need to be updated, but we're changing the domain name. So that means that my cert is going to be no good anymore. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to just revoke this certificate, I think and then go from there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna delete those. Mygig.bracky.dev, da, 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 da. And then I'm actually going to remove the other con file. And that one is specifically for the information about when it's connecting on port 443 for SSL. So what does that mean? We need to also remove the old instance, well, the old certificate, I guess. Uh, and I am always forgetting this syntax. Correct way to delete a certbot SSL certificate. Thank you, Google. 
Surpot delete cert name. Oh, we don't need sudo. Uh, let's find out what is it? List? Nope. How do you list all your certificates? I suppose I could just check that out. Da, 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 da. This is the best part, right? Oh, certificates. Doi. Okay, so this will output a whole list of our certificates. And now we get to frickin' pick through all this. My gig online. Certificate name, my gig online. Cool. That is great. Wait, I don't want that. All right, I don't want this. So we got certbot delete cert name, my gig dot online. Does it work? Do I want to revoke? Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Cool. We good. However, I know that this is going to break once we restart because there is going to be a reference to that exact certificate in my HTTP conf. So let's see if we can find that. This is one of those things. Conf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the name? HTTP.conf. Uh... Oof, that is really tough to read. Uh, do, 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 do. Got all kinds of junk in here, don't I? Here we go. Because now it's going to be looking for this SSL file, and that ain't going to be anywhere. So let's delete that. Let's make sure there's no other references to that in here. Cool. So that should be good. Now we actually just need to... Oh, well, actually, let's see what happens. I thought the naming for the uh, sites of the, I thought the naming for these files might affect how it, how CertBot registers the domain or sees which ones it can potentially apply for, but it might be defined inside the file. And I just remembered also, not only is there sites available, which we're already in, their sites enabled. And in here, we have a larger list of stuff. And is there a my gig? There is a my gig. But it is pointing at our current one, so that's good, because that's got the updated information in it. Cool. All right, so let's run certbot, auto patchy. I'm curious as to what we will find. Um, my gig .dev. cool. So that should work, let's see if we can Get ourselves a cert. Cleaning up. Enabling site. Cool. Now, we haven't restarted Apache. So let's see if it restarts. We might get an error. We didn't get an error. Let's see what happens when we go to here. Hey, there we go. This is the site. Now, I'm very curious, is anything potentially broken? Uh, let's find out. Bracky, brackscript at gmail.com. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Email already in use. So, I mean, that tells me things are kind of hooked up and working. Let's, let's use my old ass email address. Hey, sweet. Everything is up and running. We have our cert, we have our site, and it's it's good. Awesome. I was not honestly expecting that to actually work at first. I thought there was going to be something that we for sure missed. But hey, I'll take it. This has been great. Cool. Once again, I'm Dan. This has been me randomly trying to get this old site back up and running after the domain name expired. And here we go. Mygig.bracky.dev. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope this was not annoying and somewhat insightful. Have a good one.